All right, by now I'm sure you've probably seen it happening. Businesses are starting to pop up all over the ever-growing uptown area. In fact, in just two days, the new IMAX movie theater has its official grand opening. And more businesses are expected to open up in the near future. So has this helped to boost businesses or business for those existing shops? We sent our news 13's Samantha McDonald okay, uh, to the can you guys uptown me area now? to find out. Hi, uh, Sam. Good morning. Can okay. you hear me? More stores mean Okay, it looks can like she better? cannot. It looks Sorry. like she cannot hear us, but we can tell you that uh, more stores definitely mean more customers for uh, many around the area. Uh, it wasn't always like that, though. The general manager of ABQ Uptown says the parking lots began to fill up completely ever since the summer, and uh, she credits the new stores in the area. Recent additions include Michael Coors. Uh, Tony and Guy, and of course the massive Target store across ABQ Uptown. It's drawing a lot of customers every day to the area. Thousands come to ABQ Uptown uh, on a daily basis, according to the manager. And at Lush, that's a specialty soap store, the staff there says that they are seeing more shoppers, several hundred a day. And they say that these customers are spending a little more than before as well. Since the summer, we have seen a considerable growth. Um, in our foot traffic, we keep track of it every day. Um, it's up quite a bit, maybe also about half. All right, apologize for that uh, uh, bad audio there, but I can tell you that the staff at Lush says that even since the IMAX theater opened up this weekend, they have seen more customers. Of course, uh, more stores are expected to open in that area, including uh, Frost. Uh, gelato at ABQ Uptown in mid-November. So that should be pretty exciting. Yeah, I you think. got Joe's Crab Shack as well. And then in the spring, Dave and Buster's. This is a very cool, like, sports bar kind of game place for adults and kids Sounds to go Sounds like out. a plan. Yeah. All right, let's switch gears now. Uh, how much is Amtrak's train service worth to New Mexico? Yeah, that's what state legislators are thinking about this morning. Amtrak told the legislative subcommittee yesterday that it wants the state to pitch in $40 million in the next 10 years to help fix 700 miles of train tracks in the southwest. Amtrak says if those tracks do not get fixed, it'll have to change its route and stop going through parts of New Mexico, including Albuquerque, Lamy, Las Vegas, and Raton. This is a, a well-utilized train, um, and you know it, it would be a shame to lose it because I think many people depend on it. They certainly do. The total project here is probably going to cost about $200 million. The plan is for Colorado, Kansas, Amtrak, and BNSF to split the rest of that, or divide it up, I should say. And the Rail Runner needs some upgrades, too, and for the next week, you'll have your chance to give your two cents about this. The state says it'll cost about $30 million to change the train's security system. The Rail Runner has a year and a half to get a system to automatically apply the brakes in certain situations. The public meetings are tomorrow in Farmington, Friday in Albuquerque, and next week in Santa Fe, Springer, and Roswell. A big changes are on the way to the Albuquerque International Sunport, and it could have a big effect on how you fly. U.S. Airways and American Airlines just got the green light on their merger. That means yet another empty ticket counter as the two become just one. We don't anticipate it having much of an impact here at all, simply because they do not have any overlapping routes in Albuquerque. All right, then there is Southwest Airlines. The Sunport's busiest car carrier could be sending fewer planes to the Duke City, and that could mean yeah, higher ticket prices for all of us. It's because of a federal law that forces Southwest planes flying out of Love Field in Dallas to land either in Texas or a surrounding state such as New Mexico. That law is going to expire soon, so Southwest could have more direct flights from Dallas to Phoenix, L.A. or Las Vegas instead of ones that stop here. However, a spokesperson with Southwest tells us the airline remains committed to Albuquerque, saying they only expect minor changes. By the way, Frontier is getting up and leaving town, too. Well, happening right now at the Arizona border, a Burlington Northern Santa Fe freight train hits the I-40 overpass, closing down part of the interstate. This is happening in McKinley County at the state line west of Gallup near Lupton. Now, state police are diverting all westbound traffic, and Arizona's Highway Patrol is diverting all eastbound traffic. No word on how this happened, but I-40 will be shut down until further notice. Governor Susana Martinez is trying to get more doctors and nurses to work in New Mexico, and she is going after college students to do this. Governor Martinez says all but one county in the state have a shortage of doctors and nurses. 
Her proposal would double the number of students using low loan repayment programs in New Mexico. She says this would allow them to get their degrees while committing to practicing in rural areas. If these proposals are approved by the legislature, up to an additional 720 healthcare professionals would be committed to working for a period of time in rural and underserved areas of New Mexico over the next 10 years. The one and a half million dollar proposal would also allow more New Mexico students to enroll in a dental program out of state, but return to practice here. Cons Home Plus is hiring for its second store that's going to be opening up at Cottonwood Mall on Albuquerque's northwest side. Cons will be open where the old Mervins used to be. It needs to hire about 35 people. They're actually holding a job fair from 9 a.m. to 6 p.m. all week until Friday. Uh, at its northeast location, which is over off of 45 Hotel Circle off of I-40 in Eubank. You can also apply online through our website. Just head to CareQE and click on CareQE links. 537 now. Schools in Bond are closed again today as the New Mexico Rural Water Authority is still working to fully restore the water there. Police chief says the town only has partial water right now. In fact, it's got no pressure to. Plus, a boil water order has been issued for people living in the area just as a precaution. Vaughn has been without water since last Thursday. All right, if your kids go to La Cueva High School, you and them should go get a whooping cough vaccine. That's what APS is saying this morning after an outbreak there. Got a couple dozen people sick. According to the Albuquerque Journal, 30 people at La Cueva High School caught the highly contagious illness this fall. APS has sent out letters to parents telling them about the symptoms and treatment. While whooping cough or pertussis isn't normally deadly to teens or adults, it can be to infants in their homes. There are vaccines out there. It's not a bad idea to go ahead and get one. Yeah, very good idea.